Hello friends, what is up? Welcome back to another week in my life in New York. I have had the most lovely day. I can't even lie, this is not how most Mondays look, but I am very grateful that it was today. I started off with a nice workout with my friend Cassidy, and then I got on the treadmill after and did 30 minutes, like a little 12, 3.30, but you know, only 6, 3.30. The incline of 12 is just tough. Ran some errands, did a little work, and then I went to go get a Hydra facial, which basically just like sucks all the gunk out of your face. And then they add in boosters of vitamin C and hydration back into your skin. At the end, you get to see like in a little vacuum, you get to see all the gunk that came out. It's so satisfying. But anywho, I just got back from that and um, feeling good. My skin really needed that clean out. She was like, wow. I wanna say this vlog is actually sponsored by Halara, but all of my opinions are honest. I'm actually wearing I think I wore this in another vlog. This little Halara jumpsuit. It is so comfortable. This fabric is absolutely unreal. I like that it's not see-through either. <laughs> um, but this is just so perfect. I feel like whenever I get home, I immediately change out of my clothes that I was in and I just wanna get into something comfortable. So I've been pulling for this a lot. Honestly, I found Halara a year or two ago, just seeing that on Instagram and TikTok all the time. And I was like, what is this? Everything they put out is so cute. The set I wore to my workout this morning was Halara. I've worn it before. It is so flattering. Like I love it because the workout class I was in this morning, you had to, there was mirrors. And I don't know, sometimes I'm like, oh great, I don't really wanna look at myself, but I was vibing with how I looked in that set. I'm serious. The cuts of those leggings were just so nice on the waist and then the tank, it just like made my arms, I just felt really good. <laughs> so I wanted to do a little haul cause I got some more things because I've been loving Halara. And I wanted to tell you guys, you can use my code Carolyn for 20% off all full priced items. So happy shopping. <laughs> so Halara's goal is to deliver top quality products at a fair price. They are always ensuring affordability without sacrificing the quality, which I feel like is always everyone's main concern. They did a really good job curating all these fabrics to make sure that they're still very soft inside and out. They can stretch and they're just overall great quality. So this is the first thing I got. Spring has sprung. You guys know I love a little workout dress like this. It's such thick quality, like I said. It has like a little built-in bra right here. I wanted to go for the pink color, but they seriously have so many color options. Something to note, this dress also has pockets and built-in shorts detached on the back, so you can easily go to the bathroom without taking off the whole piece. This is huge for me because I have a small bladder, as we know. You'll find a color that you're happy with. I'm gonna try these on as well, but like, look how cute. Halara has a great range of active wear or just lounge wear like the jumpsuit I'm wearing right now. I feel like I would also dress up this jumpsuit with a little blazer and it would be a whole moment too. I also got this pink dress. Clearly I was in a pink mood when I was online that day. Um, this is a little bit of a different cut than the last one. This is also light pink. Look at the back. Look how cute. I love an open back. This is gonna be so perfect with some sneakers going on a hot girl walk or if you're just running errands, it's so fun. I also got this onesie jumpsuit situation. Um, it's not strapless, this one has straps and wide leg pants, but it's a really nice, comfortable material. I feel like if I, I wouldn't sweat in this because it's like that nice material, it's, it's good, it's good stuff. I also got this cute little tennis skirt, or I think it's a skirt, yeah, it's a skirt. Um, these always are just so cute with a little tank top. And lastly, I got these super cute like sky blue almost cargo pants, but a really, really comfortable athletic material. Great for lounging around, or also if you just wanted to wear it with like a little white tank and some flip flops. Also good as a beach cover up. Once again, you guys can use my code Carolyn for 20% off all full priced items. I'll have everything linked down below as well. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna start making dinner soon and I can't stop looking at my skin. I know it's like red, but like, Dinner has been had, has been had. It's still light outside, which means <laughs> I had a very early dinner because I didn't really have like lunch per se. 
But I, at the facial today, she was like, okay, go home, wash your sheets, wash your makeup brushes, anything that touches your face, because I just did a big old deep clean, antibacterial, all that. And so I don't know how I'm gonna wash my sheets tonight, but I am gonna change out my pillowcases or I'll at least wash my pillowcases. But it was also a wake up call for me to clean my makeup brushes. So this is a wake up call for you guys. I'm upset I got rid of my like deep cleaner because it started to spill and leak everywhere. But this stuff is great. This is a for a daily brush cleaner. So you can like do it dry, you just spray it on and you rub it in a towel. So we're gonna do that, it's better than nothing. Um, so I'm just taking out literally all of my brushes. I need to figure out how to clean my sponge because that also goes into play. That also goes on my face literally every time I do my makeup. So that's what's gonna go on here. Oh, and like this, how does one wash this? I don't know, I'll look into that, but I'm gonna watch some YouTube and clean some makeup brushes. <laughs> took me 12 minutes because I started Jazz's vlog while I did this. I'm gonna pop this towel in the wash right now. I really hope that didn't stain it. I had this like beauty blender soaps that I used on this and I think I got most of it out. I also could just like buy a new Real Techniques sponge, but I was like, it's just not done yet. And then I also used that soap on this. I don't know, we'll see how it dries. Everything else, again, this is a daily cleanser spray. So it's not a deep cleaner, but I feel like it still got a lot of product out. And it's nice because then these things are just dry. If I just get better once a week at doing this, I think it'll help maintain the brushes a little bit better. But now I'm motivated. I kind of want to take everything out of my makeup bag and like Clorox it and wipe out my makeup bag. Like now I'm just doing it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just repeating myself. Washing my pillowcases, drying my pillows. She said to put the pillows in the dryer for like 10, 15 minutes to help kill any bacteria. I, I don't know. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing everything she told me. Sometimes I go to facials and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, everything she's telling me to do, I am doing. Just did a big old clean. Um, obviously, because I cooked, there was just tomato sauce everywhere. I didn't even cook. Like, I cooked broccoli with a stove and put everything in the microwave, but there was just stuff everywhere. Um, but it feels good. I also don't know if you guys noticed, but over here was really hectic a little bit before this. Um, it just, stuff just kind of builds up. This is kind of my landing spot when I first walk into my apartment. So occasionally I have to kind of clean through it. I bought all these little organizers, um, a while back and they, they are good. They just have, it's mainly just a ton of lip products and pens. That's kind of where we're at. Um, and then I have like my travel wellness like my travel um, supplements bag and my travel like tech bag. And since I'm traveling this weekend, I was like, let me just keep them out. And I just put all my little on the go lip balms and random lip glosses in these little cups here. How many times did I just say little? Filling up the Brita, of course. I think I'm gonna pop one of these here in a second. I love these because I don't get bad dreams <laughs> from them. They're melatonin and chamomile and they taste good. I only take one, you could take two, but I only take one. Late night grocery delivery, I ordered Whole Foods and it just came. I did the eight to 10 p.m. time slot. Like, I'm not mad about it, honestly. Just got some things because I'm not here the full week, but I still wanna be able to cook and eat at home as much as I can and just put goods and good stuff into my body. So that's been my goal recently. Trying this new dressing, lemon basil. Updates to come, I really hope I like it. And then I also got greens. I'm gonna do a little, salad moment tomorrow or Wednesday and I got these grilled chicken strips. Got some almonds to have when I'm hungry for a little snack. Got some microgreens to add to the salad and also just with breakfast if I want with eggs, it's kind of good. This is my like new favorite stuff, meatballs and sauce. I I'm so obsessed with meatballs right now. Um, so this is what I was eating today. I got two more and I just put them in the freezer. Got broccoli to have in the freezer. Some turkey breast, it's a great little snack. Um, one avocado, because I was also like, oh, I could make like a little sandwich with like turkey, avocado, and cheese, and something like that. I've seen a lot of rumblings about these goodles. They're like, they have pro 14 grams of protein. It's like mac and cheese, but like 
better than the typical mac and cheese. So I just got that for a rainy day if I ever need just to have in my cabinet. And then I didn't mean to get both of these, but I will go through both of them. Turkey sausage patties and chicken and sage sausage patties. So that's my little grocery haul. I'm gonna put all this away now. Making some sleepy time tea. It just kind of winds me down for the night. My weekly appreciation for my living room, like look how cute she looks. Just a girl waiting for her pillowcases to be dry. I think I do have a few extra, but I'm just waiting for all of them to dry so I can put them back on my pillowcases so I can go to bed. I just downloaded a new book called Bye Baby. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So I'm gonna start reading that. I think my pillowcases are almost done. In my pajamas, I'm wearing these cute PJs from the brand In My Sundays. And that's that on that. I love you guys, I'll see you in the morning. this morning's breakfast got a little fun with it we're doing a little low carb um, tortilla with scrambled eggs and Texas Pete hot sauce only the best and then two little chicken sausages let's do it yum we are headed out for the day we're going to Pilates and then I'm actually gonna walk up to the Vivrell showroom. They're a great bag borrowing service um, with really great bags. And I haven't been to the showroom in a while, so I'm excited. We're in an all black. We got the Divi scalp serum in for a bun because we're gonna wash our hair later. But it's a stunning, beautiful, sunny day. Um, so I wanna walk as much as I can. Um, I have therapy later. Uh, I've got some events tonight. We're kind of all around the place tonight, today. So come along on this fine Tuesday. <laughs> Everything, but I ran to a couple different places almost to 10,000. I think by the end of the day I'll definitely hit it. We love that One of the errands I ran as you guys saw I went to the Vivrell showroom where you can borrow bags This one is so perfect. It's black with silver hardware and it's like a long crossbody But I don't know why it's giving obviously not it's literally why I sell but it's giving a Western vibe because of like the long rectangle. I don't know. I just feel like this is kind of cute. How freaking cute. A little Christian Dior moment. Like I love Vivrell because you can just pretend you bought these bags, but then you just give them back and you get to try new ones. I, I just love it so much. But this is cute because it'll actually fit my camera and stuff and I'm really looking forward to using this bag. So these are the two bags that I got. It's almost one o'clock, which means it's almost time for therapy. It's very, very sweet because today is my last ever therapy appointment with my current therapist, which is just sad. I'm so cold in my apartment right now, so I don't know why. Um, I put on my jacket, but yeah, cause I'm gonna shower after. I'm emotional. I've worked with her. Or she, she's been my therapist, if you will, for since high school. So that's a long time. It's a long time. Thankfully, as we know, there's lots of resources to find a new therapist. It's just um, sad because I love her and she knows literally everything about my life. Like, I don't even know what to say on this call because it's like our last one. Like, it's not like we can wrap everything in a bow. I'm probably gonna cry because it's like our last appointment ever. She's retiring, she's moving to Europe. I'm so excited for her. She's just like, she had a wake up call where she was just like, I 
want to travel the world before I die. And I was like, as you should. But yeah, we're just gonna catch up. And then she's gonna be like, peace. So I'm, I'm emotional, but um, it'll be good. Maybe it'll be exciting to start fresh with a new therapist and um, I get to tell all of my drama, not all of my drama, but my whole life story to someone else. Yay me. Um, all right, it's one o'clock. Gonna log on Zoom now. I'm sad. Also, my sunburn is just really sunburning mixed with the redness from my facial. <sighs> See you guys later. Well, that was it, you guys. Ugh, I cried. And I think she was like, well, what's coming up for you right now? And I was like, I think I'm just sad that this is our last conversation. Oh, she's just so great. But I'm really excited for her. <laughs> It was just so nice. She was like, you've been a dream to work with and you always show up like, like you really want to learn and you want to, you know, learn the tools and you ask me for advice. You don't just like do this because you feel like you have to, like I can tell you're really into it. And she gave me some really great tips going forward. And she was like, always feel free to text me. Like, obviously I'm not gonna bother her, but like, there's certain things like if something happens, I'm like, oh, I need to update her on this. And she was like, please, I might text you. <laughs> and like when I find my new therapist, like I can text her kind of like what their expertise is and she can help me decide if it's a good fit too. Oh my God, that was just so emotional. <laughs> Julie is the best, I love her and I'm grateful for her. Ever since senior year of high school, I've been going to her. She's helped me through all kinds of things in life. Anyways, go to therapy. Even though it makes you cry when they leave, but that was really a rare situation. She's, she's retiring. Okay, I need to take a shower. <laughs> I sure do look a lot different than that last clip. Um, we are all ready for the evening. I'm headed to the Pauline, Pauline or Pauline, I'm gonna find out how to pronounce it, store. I have two of their totes, I love them so much. And I'm meeting someone from the team there, um, they've never met in person. And then that's in Soho, and then from there I'm gonna walk over to the Stella McCartney store because they launched a collaboration with Vuv, uh, Clico, the champagne, and they invited me to their little event, and I was like, you know what? I'm in the mood to go to an event, and those are two iconic brands collaborating. I believe it's on like this cute bag to hold the champagne bottle, which I think is so epic. And my friend Daly is actually coming to the event with me because we were supposed to hang out tonight. I'm not sure if I've ever taken her to any of my events. So I think it'll be really fun. And then we're gonna bop around, hang out after, maybe grab a treat, maybe grab some dinner. We're not really sure. We're gonna see how we're feeling, but um, I'll show you guys my outfit really quick and then we gotta go. I am wearing this like cinched blazer situation from Helsa. I like initially had it all buttoned, but I'm kind of liking the one button. I don't know, maybe I should do two though. Hold on. Okay, I think two looks a little bit more put together. Revolve girlfriend denim jeans and then some black booties just to peek out to give me a little height. And then these really cute earrings. And that's the fit. Wow, is this good? I don't even know anymore. I think it's cute. I like it. Hey buddy. Nice night. Cheers. We have the food. We snagged a table or a little bar seat at Sartiano's. Look at that. That looks stunning. Oh, back home. Just been cleaning up, did my skincare, got the Dr. Dennis Gross face mask on, PJs on. It's almost 11 o'clock. Time to go to bed. Have a very exciting day tomorrow. I'm going to Emily DiDonato's house, who's a model. She was the face of Maybelline at one point, if I remember correctly. She has her own skincare line, Covey. I'm having her on AM Uncovered, and I'm so excited that she's down. I'm so excited to see her beautiful home. I'm very thankful that she's letting us into her home. And then she also asked me to be on her YouTube channel, where we do like a little chit chat, get ready with me. I was so honored, because some of her other guests are so cool, and I can't believe she asked me. So, fun little field trip in the morning. And yeah, I just cleaned up. Just drank some sleepy time tea. I'm just spinning you guys around. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. This is such a delicious breakfast. I'm having it again. Happy Wednesday. Just took my 
front pieces out of rollers. We are headed to outside of the city to go to Emily Di Donato's house. I'm so excited. My videographer just got here and we're gonna head over. I'm so excited to see your house. Here's my AM Uncovered outfit of the day. We're doing basics, elevated basics if you will. This top is Abercrombie. I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's so cute, it's not a bodysuit, but it tucks in things really nicely. And then trousers are also Abercrombie, belt, Orium. I'm just wearing some Franco Sarto ballet flats because I usually just like take off my shoes. Got my recent favorite earrings on. Do I need a necklace? I don't know. me and my kombucha <laughs> today with emily was so fun her life in the suburbs is just fabulous and i got to meet her kids and they were so cute and she had such great tips and just a fabulous morning routine in general so i can't wait for you guys to see her am uncovered um if you want to watch am uncovered i post it on instagram and tiktok every tuesday it's usually three to four minutes then i came back and i had stuff to film and then i just took another shower and just scrubbed anything off my body Washed my face. I did put on a little skincare because I have spray tan tonight, but it is four, almost 4.30 and I'm getting dinner with Ryan. Yes, a very early dinner. It's actually good. I had a big breakfast and then like a couple snacks and I didn't have lunch because I knew I was having the super early dinner, but he got a reservation at iSodi and he's really proud and he has been wanting to try that place. I've been once with my friends who we went to a super late night reservation. So it's hard to get a res there. It's in the West Village, it's Italian. I mean, a lot of Italians speak, which I'm not complaining because Italian is my favorite food group. But yeah, I showered and I just wanted to put on something chic because it's like a pretty nice restaurant, but comfortable because I'm gonna walk there. Um, so this has just been my go-to recently. This top is from Revolve. I've got this little necklace on. Gold hoops, sunglasses as a headband, honestly. Tucked into these girlfriend denim jeans. Worrium belt and then um, I'm actually wearing my black cowboy boots from Dolce Vita because I need to break them in. I haven't worn them out yet. These jeans I might need to get tailored. These are like a newer pair I got from Girlfriend and I feel like they're bunching up, but honestly I don't have time to change. So from the front it looks good, but from the back it's like eh, you know? Let's pick out a bag. Always the fun part. I don't think I need a jacket. It's like almost 70 degrees outside. I think I'm gonna go with my new little Paulin bag. Is it random because the rest of my outfit is like black? Or does it make sense? Hmm. Or I could obviously go tried and true. This definitely goes better. Okay. I just wanted to wear the brown bag, but I think this just makes more sense. All right, let's go to dinner with Ryan, a little date night. I appreciate it. He like made the initiative. I didn't even say we could do dinner tonight. He was like, I made reservations at 4.30. Can you make it? I was like, okay, why 4.30? But no, it's really cute and I'm really excited. Guys, look at that line right now. These are all people maybe with reservations or that don't. Oh, I see Ryan. <laughs> He's at the end of the line. I've never gotten beer like this. I was like, Ryan, which one do we drink? He's like this and then this carafe. It's kind of like having wine. Cheers. It's a random Tuesday nights or Wednesday nights. Yum. Yum. We're trying the lasagna. Yum, yum. Well, guys, that is a wrap for this vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Halara, for sponsoring this video. I'll have everything linked down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.